Hi everyone, welcome to my weekly live and especially today because it is my first um, live um, with the new catalog and I hope you like the projects today. I did use um, the Flight and Airy DSP for tonight's presentation because I did a card not too long ago um, using this DSP a couple of weeks ago, I guess it was, and I got so many comments on it. I thought I would um, create some more projects with it. So I hope you like them tonight. I have um, two greeting cards and they're just a thank you and a hello card. But of course you can use a different sentiment, a birthday, anniversary, anything that you would like to use would be fine with these cards. I think they're adorable and they're even prettier in person. And then I also have a treat holder here, which is a box that kind of slides out and I have Godiva chocolates in there. And the Godiva chocolates I got it, believe it or not, at the Dollar Tree. So you can get these for just a dollar and a quarter, I believe they are now. So I hope you like these projects today. I certainly love them and I think, um, I think you'll have fun making them and they're quite easy. There is a lot of fussy cutting, but that's okay because there's not a lot of stamping. But before I get started, I do want to show you, um, if you haven't received your catalogs and if you are not currently working with another demonstrator, um, let me know and I'll, I'd be happy to send you a set of catalogs. We have the celebration, which is going on right now. And for a celebration, if you purchase $50 or more, you can select an item which this DSP, a full pack of DSP is free um, with um, a $50 purchase. So if you flip through the catalog, you can see there's stamp sets. There's lots of beautiful paper. Here's the paper that I'm using today. Another stamp set. These two DSP um, packs are absolutely gorgeous, both of them. I'll be using them quite a bit. Another stamp set. And a lot of this coordinates with products already in the main catalog. So you want to um, for sure pick up one of these, these catalogs. If you don't have one already, I'd be happy to send you one. And then if you notice, there's a few items that say um, free with a $100 purchase. And I am using um, this set today um, right here, the hello there and the embossing folder the two of them together for a hundred dollar purchase so anyway there's three different hundred dollar purchases in here and then also this beautiful catalog oh my gosh there's so many um awesome products in here in fact i have started the cruise projects and they are so pretty i can't even tell you how beautiful they are so anyway um let me know if you need a catalog I do want to bring back in um, my Create a la carte for this month. You have until the 15th to sign up for um, this month's Create a la carte. And what it is, is a subscription-based class. I always do four cards and one 3D item. Is this adorable? And if you look really closely, you can see the little embellishments. Um, but I stamped on the box as well i just think it's so cute so you can see the four cards and what it includes is the four cards the the 3d item also it includes the pdf oh i just went blurry i don't know why the pdf it also includes a full pack of these um, embellishments and a half a pack of dsp so you'll have a lot of leftover product that you can make more projects with it also includes um, free shipping. So all of this for $42. So um, if you're interested in subscribing to Create a la carte, all you have to do is hop over to my blog after the presentation, of course, at stampinggala.com. At the top, there's a tab that says Create a la carte. And just click on that and um, you can follow the directions in there and it'll tell you how to sign up for Create a la carte. You can cancel at any time as well, okay? So, um, and one last thing I wanna tell you since Celebration is on, this awesome glass mat 
I absolutely love stamping on it. It's I don't stamp on it during the presentation because there's too much of a glare. But this is a value of $60. It is beautiful. I have it upside down right now. But it also comes with this really cool silicone mat that sticks right to it. Um, it you can mix color in here, mix ink. Um, the stampin' spots will fit right in there securely. And it also comes with a chamois to clean everything off. Now, um, this is a $60 value, and it is free to any um, new start. So if you start, um, if you join Stampin' Up! during celebration, you'll get that in your kit for free. In addition to $125 worth of product, all of that for $99 plus tax. Um, if you don't want the glass mat, you, instead of choosing $125, you can choose $155 in product. It's your choice. So if you are interested, I would love to have you on my team. We do have an awesome team, and um, we would welcome you with open arms, and we're a lot of fun. So if you would like more information, please give me a holler, and I'd be happy to talk to you about it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And I think I'll start with this one first. So I am using today, um, this is Misty Moonlight. So I have a piece of cardstock that measures um, four, and a half, four and a half by 11, and it's scored at five and a half, okay? Okay, so anyway, then we also... This is such a cool um, die. Let me show you. I'm using, it's called perennial postage. So it comes with all these different dies. And I love this as a background. So what we're going to do is just um, adhere this to the, the um, card base. Oh, hi, Sherry. I'm glad you're, you're on. How did you find me? We're glad to have you. Which reminds me, ladies, if you're new to my site, please let us know so we can give you a warm welcome. Okay. All right. Then what I did was I took a piece of cardstock, and I'm going to have to punch some of these little holes out. Um, and I have a fan on cause it's so hot. Anyway, um, what I did first was I punched out, I took the dies that are called, let me see, everyday details right here. I took this one right here and I ran it through the, the die cutting machine. And this piece of cardstock is four and three quarters by three and a half. And so after I did that, then I took the um, softly sophisticated embossing folder and ran it through to give it the texture that I wanted. So it looks like that. Okay. Hi, Elizabeth. I'm so glad you're here too. And Mark, welcome. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to lay this down for a second because I want to see, I'm going to add some color in here. And how I'm going to do that is just with, I'm going to use Highland Heather. And, oh, I'm glad you're here. And I'm just using one of our blending brushes, getting some of the hard ink off first before I bring it in here. Okay, now I'll move it. Make it some more. It's best to use a light hand. You can always add ink, but can't really take it away. And then I'm going to add some misty moonlight as well. Hi, Marilyn. I'm glad you're here as well. Are you ladies all demonstrators? I 
I want a two-tone look here. And let me see if I can add a little more of the um, Highland Heather. And just put this on and see. That looks good, I think. My sample is a little darker. I'll just add a little bit more. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so let me get these out of the way. Now what I'm gonna do is put this up on dimensionals because um, I think it looks nicer raised up. So as always, ladies, if you would like these um, make and take sent to your home for free, all you have to do is place a minimum $40 order with me by Sunday. And anyway, I'm um, using this host code and I'd be happy to get these out to you. I hope that everybody had a nice New Year's. Um, we had a lot of fun for New Year's Eve and also on New Year's Day. I'm from Michigan, so we were watching the Michigan game, and we we're so excited that they won. I'm sorry if some of you are from Alabama or Alabama fans, but um, it's all fun. They had another one here, so I don't like it to you know, kind of like sink a little bit. All right, so just be careful when you're putting this on and make sure it's the right direction, of course. So we're gonna go ahead and let me see. That looks, nope. There. That looks good. Okay, so we have that. Just like that. All right. So let me grab. I am using the flight and airy paper. Let me bring this in. What I did, you can see I cut some of them out. I took this piece and I cut two birds out of there for this card. And then the next card, I took a piece of this paper and I'll show you in a minute. Okay. Oh my goodness. Well, welcome. I'm so glad you're here, Karen. Okay. So I have these two birds here. So I'm going to quickly um, fussy cut these. And I know Shelly especially, Shelly is on my team and she helps me out a little bit. Well, actually a lot, I shouldn't say a little bit. Anyway, um, she's probably saying bad words to me right now because she is not a fussy cutter. Right, Shelly? So it doesn't take long though, I promise you. but I love these little chubby birds. They're so cute. And there's another color palette with this set too. There's a peachy color, um, Calypso Coral. So you could change it as well. I love fussy cutting. It's, to me, it's relaxing. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. See how quickly that I cut that out? Not even a minute. It's funny. Some of my team will sometimes time me. Heck, you can't even stamp it that fast almost. Now this one will be a little more tricky because I want to get around the feet as well. So 
So what are, I, I struggled today with what to choose first uh, uh, for you ladies to um, create for you. And um, if you have a favorite, let me know. And I will get it on my list to design some projects with them. See how quickly that was? Fussy cussing. <laughs> That's a good one. All right. So what we're going to do is pull the card back in. Okay. And then I, what I did was I die cut two of these. Did I get that off? Yeah. Two of these little um, branches here. And these are from the stippled roses. I used these last week as well. So um, anyway, I, I just like these a lot. Okay, so what we're going to do with these is what you can do, you can do a whole sheet ahead of time, which is kind of sponging them. But um, what I am going to do is just take the fresh freesia and just the, um, the little brush here and just add some color. And you can always add more on. And especially for doing a video, I like to have some most of this die cutting done so you, I don't bore you ladies. And I just, just wanted some color on this just to tie the the birds, uh, just the color, you know, tie the color palette together. Okay, so I'm going to bring this back in and add some glue to the back here. Fran, are you and Kathy cousins? Okay, so I'm going to put this right here. And I'm going to take this bird and put a couple of dimensionals on it. On the back. Oh, that's cute. There goes my phone. Stuff, I'm on my video. I gotta go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put this down here. All right, and then I'm gonna take the other one here and add, I'm gonna add a little more color. And same thing, I'm just gonna put some glue on the back here. It's funny, Fran, because my cousin sometimes watches me, so it's kind of funny. Hey, Tina, Happy New Year. Okay, so this one, I'm just going to put right like this. And take the other bird with some dimensionals. And put this like right here. Okay. All right. Now I have to tell you, ladies, I'm running low on my ribbon here. And that's probably why my friend was calling me because I asked her if she had any ribbon for me. <laughs> but I'm going to tie this for here. And then I'm just going to have to wing it with the other two. Um. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and tie a double bow here, and it's perfect. I have just enough. Okay, get in there. Okay. I have a purple. I have the 
um, what is that called? Um, Orchid Oasis. And I may just tie that just for the time being for the other two cards. And then just change it when my order comes in. Okay, so we're going to put this on. Trim it off a little bit. Okay, and we need a glue dot. I do too, um, Nicole. I think it's so pretty. All right, so this is going to go right here. All right, so far so good. Now, I have the Festive Pearls. And this lighter color, you can always change the color of your gemstones if you have uh, the blends. So I'm going to just color this, and I'm using the um, Misty Moonlight Dark Marker. And I'm coloring the ones that are like the light, it looks like soft sea foam. Thank you for joining me. All right, so we're going to um, put this here. Here. And then one down here. And then we just have one thing to go. Okay, we're going to take a little strip here. And I'll probably have to um, trim it off some. And we're going to stamp thank you in the thank you greeting. I hope I get it straight. If I don't, I have more paper. Um, the thank you greeting is from the go to greeting stamp set. Oh, it's perfect. Okay. So what we're going to do is bring in my trimmer here. This little trimmer. Yes, I will, Sherry. Um, Marie, the ribbon is the starry sky. And I love it. And you know, it's so funny because when it first came out, I did not like it at all. And I find that it goes with so many different things. The one that's the parakeet party, I use that quite a bit. So I know we all kind of... Um, you know, poo-poo some of the items when they come out when we first see them. But I'll tell you if, you, if you try different things, you might find that you like them. Okay, so I'm just going to put this one right here. And it's going to go on dimensionals. Okay. All right, so this is going to go right here. So there you go. There is the outside of your card. Is that not the cutest little thing? Here's the other one. All right, so we have two pieces here of basic white cardstock. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of this, um, the little die cut here. I'm going to add some fresh freesia to it. And like I said, you can just do a sheet of cardstock, a piece of basic white cardstock ahead of time and then die cut it. But it's all right to do it this way as well. So I'm to, what I'm going to do is just kind of stick this up here and I'm going to glue it down and trim off the edges, okay? So just stick some, um, put some glue on some of the leaves here on the back. A dot will do it. It's good enough. Oh, Margaret, I'm so glad. All right, so we're going to put this up like this.
all right and see how this piece is lifting what i'm going to do is cheat i'm going to go right here and put some glue on this like a fishing pole and just kind of swipe it under here so if i lifted it back i could bend it and it won't look so great so anything that i need to put down a little bit better just swipe that under there and you're good okay so we're going to just take the scissors here turn it over and just trim this off I see you have to do 60 of them, Margaret. I would have helped you with them. It's so funny. I think I've told this story before, but I have um, really nice neighbors next door. And um, one of the girls worked at a little fudge shop up in downtown Plymouth. And it was so funny because a lot of brides come in there and get some favors. And this bride wanted 200 and some of these favors, but she wanted a bow on them. And none of them could tie it. And <laughs> my little neighbor girl goes, oh, but my next door neighbor can tie them. She'll tie them for you. <laughs> so I couldn't tell her no. Okay. So we have that. And then we're going to turn this off and then just clean this side up a tiny bit okay look how cute that just that subtle touch adds Okay, look at that. I love it. I love that look. All right, so what do you think? Do you like this card? Let me bring this one back in. All right. That's funny, Margaret. You know I'd help you. Okay, so we're going to move on to this card. All right, so let me bring this stuff in. Oops. You guys probably heard my little tool drop there. Okay, so this one is the other orientation. It is five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. Ladies, remember if you want these make and takes, let me know and place your order by Sunday and I'd be happy to get them to you. Now, I do want to tell you that um, this time I didn't um, put dimensionals behind here. I'm going to do it because I think it looks nicer the other way. So let me put this down first. And this is the same size. Okay, there we go. All right, so now I'm going to put this. I did emboss this. I love this embossing folder. This is that new one that's free in celebration. So we're going to add some dimensionals to the back of this. I do too, Trisha. By the way, Trisha, are you feeling better? You sounded not so good the other day. Oh, I'm so glad. I think I need one more dimensional. <laughs> okay. So I want to get this. It's funny, this, um, this embossing folder tends to curl up a little bit. 
Okay, so we're going to get this on right here. Perfect. Okay, and then I have a piece of the DSP from the same set, and this is one by five and a half. We're going to lay this down right here, and I'm just going to put some glue in the center. Not so much on the ends because I don't want it to bend down and connect there. I just want it to stay a little bit higher up and just make it even with the sides of the card. If you wanted to, we could take, let me see, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take these here. and just put them right here so it's the same level, just like that. Oops. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I did die cut this piece here in basic white. So I'm going to take the same thing. I'm going to take the the um, Highland Heather and add some color on here. And remember, use a light hand, a light touch. And by the way, you can wash these brushes. All you have to do is use like Dawn dish soap and they come out beautifully. Okay, and then I'm going to add some of the misty moonlight. And that tends to be a little darker, so I'm going to kind of just get some off here. Be careful and just use a light touch. I'm going to go back and add one. Okay. So I like how that looks. So we're gonna adhere this to the back of, to a piece of Misty Moonlight. Thank you, Linda. Oh, by the way, ladies, if, if you haven't noticed, if you didn't notice, I did send out a newsletter with my um, paper shares and also my um, Christmas retreat. And believe it or not, people are sending in their reservations for the retreat. And it is a limited amount of space. So you don't want to miss it if, um, if you can send your registration in early if you'd like to participate. Because I know it's going to sell out. And also, um, it's funny because the um, paper share... I made a mistake and I forgot to add shipping and tax. So everybody that's signing up is getting a, a good deal because <laughs> I, I made the mistake. So um, I'm priced <laughs> and somebody brought it to my attention, but it's my fault. So I'm leaving it as is. So anyway, it's like free shipping and tax on it. I mean, it, you have to pay the shipping to get it to you, but still... I messed up. Oh, thanks, Jill. Okay, so I'm going to put this on with dimensionals. And besides, the DSP is free, so why not? All right, so this is going to go on right here, just like 
that. Okay, I think that's even. Now comes some fun fussy cutting. So this one takes a little bit longer. So, but that's okay. It still doesn't take a god awful amount of time. I probably get this done in a two to three minutes. So now would be a good time to tell me what um, types of products you want to see or projects that you want to see. And I have a question for everyone. Do you like more of the formal, which I think I do best for me, um, you know, the floral and the formal and or do you like cutesy more and I know a lot of times people will tell me oh do some do some masculine cards but every time I do masculine cards it's funny because the interest seems like it's not there maybe it's my designs Oh, you know what, Nicole? I almost used the Sending Love bundle today. In fact, I um, cut out some of the envelopes, and they were so cute. But it's funny. If I'm not feeling it, I just put it aside. And I wasn't feeling that one today. I'm glad to see you guys are saying floral and formal because I think that's what I do best. That's my my style. Okay, how long do you think I've been cutting this now? Has it been a couple of minutes? This part is really intricate. The um leaves and the flowers there are no straight lines here but i'm more than halfway done and i like to get in there and get it all the way i don't like to just round it off janet i'm gonna try and get that um pdf done this weekend so that i can help you out Ladies, um, if you are on my team, you get my PDFs for free. Any of the PDFs that are sold, my team gets them for free. So that's another reason to join my team. It's a, it's a fun team for sure. And lots of nice perks. Sorry, I'm boring you with this. I tried to rush and get things done ahead of time, but I just didn't. I ran out of time. I was like ready a couple minutes before seven and that's it. Okay, almost done here. And don't let this discourage you as far as doing a card because it is so pretty. All right, so now we're going to take this and this is going to go on right here, okay? Um, let me get some dimensionals. It's so cute. 
So we're going to go ahead and put this right here, kind of center it. Then I have a piece of um, just basic white cardstock, and it uh, you want to stamp towards the bottom. And I'm using this softly sophisticated. This is a set that goes with the embossing folder that you get for free in celebration. And that's with a $100 order. So I'm going to ink this up and I'm going to try and get it close to the bottom. I don't need to worry about the top. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to trim off the sides a little bit because the other part will slide right under. You'll see what I mean in a second. I love the font on this, this um, sentiment. I think it's so pretty. Let me show you closer. Oh, look, Shelly, you said the same thing. Isn't that pretty? And, oops, stuck my nail right in it. All right, so this is going to go right in here. So I'm just going to add some glue on the back. And slide it in. And to tell the truth, I counted these. One, two, three, four, five, six. To get it right like in the middle of the sixth one. Just so it's even. There. All right, so far so good. Okay, so we're gonna bring these back in. And put a couple of these on here. Isn't it amazing how just little details makes all the difference? And for this, I mean, just the little um, color added in the background, it made a huge difference. Okay, so I'm going to show you, I'm out of ribbon, but I'm going to show you with this purple, this is the um, Orchid Oasis, how to tie a double bow. So um, what you do this time is start with this down um, towards the bottom of your pinky finger, and then you're going to hold it with your thumb here, and you're not going to move that at all. So you're going to do a figure eight with the first two fingers and then come straight down, all right? And then I'm gonna cut it off there. You're gonna take this end, the end you ended up with, it's gonna go through here, just like that. And see this, this part right here, we're gonna pick it up. I'm just gonna pick that top layer up. You know, it's funny because when I do this in slow motion, it's hard for me to do. <laughs> so we're going to go here. And then I'm just going to pick up this layer right here. There. Okay. So there is your double bow. And if you did the figure eight three times, you would have three loops. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. I had a bow made. Okay, so here is the second card so far. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to add on this little piece of white um, floral or greenery. I'm adding a little bit of color. And I'm not coloring the whole thing. I'm leaving some of it white. Bring in my cardstock here because I want to make sure I get it on the right, the smaller one of the two. <laughs> That's funny. I do have a, a video on YouTube of um, making a bow. So not the double bow, just the regular bow. So if you go to my channel and, and search bow, how to make a bow. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to turn this over. How to make a bow. Oh my gosh. It will show up for you. It 
And once you master that, you really can do any of them. They're really quite easy. It's like driving a stick shift. Once you get it, you get it. I still have it, and I love it, but sometimes it's easier on video to just do it without. Okay, I'm going to trim this up a little bit. And then all we have left to do is a 3D item. And it is really cute. I almost said it's like riding a bicycle. It's funny. Okay, so here is your second project. I hope you like these ladies. And ladies, if you do like this video, please um, share it for me so that um, I can reach a larger audience. It really will help me. Okay, so lastly, we're going to do a 3D item. And you can put other things in this box. You don't have to put candy. But... Um, Everybody loves Godiva's, I think. So, oh, the glue that I'm using is called Nouveau, and I love it. Um, it's very, very nice. Okay, so the bottom of the box is 11 by 8, and it's scored at one and a half and three on all sides, okay? I'm going to put the fan on. Okay, so we're going to... Fold on all score lines. Ladies, if you ever thought about joining Stampin' Up! for the discount, you don't want to miss this glass mat. It is a very, very nice mat. And also, um, anyone who places an order that's um, $50 or more gets the celebration bonus item that, of their choice. There is also a $100 bonus item. And then if you're a hostess, you can be your own hostess. Um, every $300 order that is sent in, you get an additional $30 in product as hostess credit. So that's a nice perk as well. So celebration is a nice time to start. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm cutting up to the second score line. This is the inside box. I'm cutting out these three outside corners or squares, I should say. And then I'm turning the final inside square into a tab. And I gotta do that one a little bit better or it just won't fit right. Okay, so far so good. Turn it around. Yes, I'm always on, well, I'm on at, um, yeah, I think mountain time is 5 o'clock mountain time and it's 7 o'clock Eastern time every Thursday. And now that the holidays are over, everything is back on track because I took a week off for the holiday. One, one Thursday, I didn't do it because of the holiday. So I'm back on track, but in 
February, I am going on a eight day cruise that I'm teaching classes on. And the next cruise is next February of 2025. And that's to the Eastern Caribbean. And that will be posted shortly. So if you're interested in that cruise, I would love to have you. We do 20 projects and that too is a lot of fun. Okay, so it looks like this. All right, so we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna put glue on the tabs, okay? So we put glue here. And I make sure that I get it right to the end. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pull this in to create the corner. Same thing here. And I know that a lot of people watch and it doesn't show up. All you have to do is log in to your YouTube account, which is also your Gmail account, I believe. And then you can comment. Okay, so now it looks like this. All right, now these should fold in pretty well. So we're just gonna go ahead and put glue on this. Fold that in. And then this too, fold that in. Okay. All right, now these, see how it catches a little bit on the side. So what I like to do is just trim this just a hair off so it can slide in there a little bit nicer. Okay. Now I'm going to add some glue here. Oops. And I'll take my bone folder. Just kind of burnish it. And same thing over here. Add some glue. and just fold it in. Okay, so this is the bottom of the box, all right? I'm gonna close these up because I don't need that anymore. And that way I don't mess things up. Now I have a piece of cardstock that is um, eight by five and a half and I scored it at one um, two and a half, four and five eighths, six and an eighth. Okay, and we're just going to fold on the score lines here. Ah, uh, Debbie, I hope you're feeling better. Okay, so then this is going to wrap around like this. So we're just going to. You don't want it so tight that it doesn't slide off easily. So we're going to put this on here and then wrap this. We're going to put some glue on the end here. All right, see how that is? And we're going to wrap this and just line it up nicely so it's even. Okay, so it'll slide in and out pretty easily. All right, so then what I have here is a piece of the DSP. 
And basically, I just scored this at one. And then I'm just going to walk it around and um, pinch the sides. And then just glue this down as well. But don't get glue on the the other cardstock because you want this to be able to slide as well. Okay, so see what I mean? All right, I have uh, one of the die cuts from the same set. It's actually the same die that I used on the first card, but this time I um, die cut it in Misty Moonlight. And I'm just punching out these little holes because I want them, them to be seen. Okay, so we're going to add a couple of dimensionals on the back here. Hey, Cheryl. Okay, so this is going to go on right here. And just make sure you have it centered pretty well. Then this time, I just die cut the birds right from the the um, paper, the DSP, and I used the um, stylish shapes um, die cut. So we're going to put this on dimensionals. But before we add this on, oops, I have a couple of these. So I'm going to add some color on here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is put one here. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on the um, leaves that are going to be tucked under. Oh, you know, I did it under here. I thought I did them the other way. All right, and then glue on this one. And tuck it under. Okay. And now I'm just going to add these right here so that the little polka dots show. See how you can move that still. Let me close this up. And then we're going to add the bow here. And then a couple of the gemstones that I already colored. And one right here. And here. So now we have our finished projects. I hope you like these ladies. Remember to um, place your order by Sunday using this host code. I will have these on my blog tomorrow at stampingala.com. And if you have any questions, let me know. If you have any questions about joining Stampin' Up, please reach out to me because I would love to have you on my team. Um, well, um, you'll feel at home, I, I assure you, because we have a fun, welcoming team. So thank you so much. And um, I hope you have a great evening. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.